<laughs> we made it. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. Do you know one hour? I know. Wow. Are you still there? Yes, 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 yes. Um. Wow. Awesome. I don't know. I'm just. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. You, yeah, that's that's the power of persistence. Yes, persistence. That's the thing. One hour. Yeah. You see, when it comes to these things, it, they always need a bit of persistence. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you don't, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. You take it. You just play it as a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's, Anyways, let's go ahead and finish this thing. Yes, definitely. Um. First of all, I want to welcome all my guests, everyone. Thanks to those that joined previously. I know I've lost some, but if you've joined, if you're joining in later on, um, thanks to you for joining. And as I say today, hi, Camilla. Sorry, we're having guests coming in. Welcome, guys. Feel free to I invite your friends, your loved ones, who will share as well. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to start your own business. For this is a topic, special for anyone, anyone, absolutely anyone that want to um, basically just pursue their own goals, do their own thing, be their own boss, or just have an idea that they want to bring to pass, have a vision, have a dream that they want to bring to pass in, in, in a form of a business. I feel today you are going to benefit uh, from this a lot. And with that, I've invited a very special guest who is going to talk to us about it. Uh, earlier on, we really, really tried to get this on, but had issues. So as I say, it took almost an hour trying to get this to happen, but persistent is the key. So we kept on trying, trying and trying. And finally, <clears throat> he's live and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited. You don't understand. I'm very... <laughs> 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 oh my lord i'm very very excited so you know yeah. what i want you to start all over again because the previous video as you see it was a bit distract distracted but uh, i want you to introduce yourself once again for our guest as they come in and yeah we'll take it from there yeah uh, my name is adrian Mayantello. and i am uh, i do a lot of things one of the first and foremost, I'm a Christian and I'm a minister of the gospel. And secondly, uh, I'm a businessman, uh, married, with uh, three children, and I stay yes. in Edinburgh. Uh, originally, I'm from Botswana. So if yep. you guys are from Botswana, Hi, and if you are in Botswana, more hi. Uh, please eat, uh, greet my, my president for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, wow. yeah, that's, that's me. And, uh, and today, since we are going to be talking about uh, how to start a business, uh, in business, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm mainly I'm involved with online marketing, network marketing, whatever you do online. And, uh, mm -hmm. But I also do things like uh, real estate, cryptocurrency, and many other things. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Thank you, Pastor Adrian, for that introduction. <laughs> As you can see, you do pretty much more than I expected, so it's good to have this introduction so um, people may know how you know you work um how can people connect with you if they want to go further and maybe meet you or speak to you yeah if you want to connect with me if you are uh, uh it's easier to connect with me online right on facebook i'm mm -hmm. all I'm, I'm easy to get on facebook and um in other social media but mainly facebook is I find it much, much easier to communicate with people on Facebook. If we start off mm -hmm. there, it'll be the easiest way. Right. Okay, so guys, if you'd like to connect with him, you can connect with him on Facebook. Most convenient, as he said. 
So um, how do we greet in your language, your local language, just for interest uh, purposes? Oh, Botswana language, you say Dumela. Oh, Dumela. Dumela. All right. Yeah. What, what that, does it mean? That's that. that uh, a small address means hello. All right. So if you and then I say so what? If you are saying, if you are saying hello to a man, you say Dumela Ra. That means it's a man. If it's a, it's a woman, right. you say Dumela Ma. <laughs> Honestly, I don't see the difference. Yeah, Dumela. You can just okay. literally say hello to somebody by saying Dumela. It's still fine. But if you want specifically, Dumela. you are addressing a woman, you say Dumela Ma. If you are addressing a man, you say Dumela Ra. All right. So Dumela yeah. Ma and Dumela Ra. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. Well, Dumela Ra to you. Dumela Ma to you. <laughs> <laughs> So it works. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> right, welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. Welcome to all our guests. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, uh, Melania. Thank you, Pamela. And thanks to everyone else that is with us today. We're talking about how to start your own business uh, to anyone that's interested in business or would like to pursue, um, you know, like the business goal. So today I'm having... Um, Conversation with me, who is a business person himself, and he's gonna answer some of the questions or you know concerns or basically just get into discussion with me with regards to how uh, someone can go ahead and start their own business. So my first my first question to you here is that, um, what advice would you give to someone that wants to start their own business? I'm gonna uh, let you speak advice. because I'm trying to turn you wrong. Okay, so you just go on. Okay. Right. So the, the the first advice really that I can give to somebody who, who wants to start a business is that uh, first of all, uh, you got to decide on what kind of what kind of business you want to do. Okay. And once you have decided on what kind of business you want to do, uh, let's say for example, let's say you want to you want to sell cars, right? So you decide I want to sell cars, right? And um, and then start selling cars, right? Because a lot of people they think that when you say, for example, you want to start selling cars, then they spend a lot of time doing a lot of uh, research, right? They try to research on how they can be able to start that business of selling cars instead of just going ahead and you know acquiring a car and try to sell it, right? What I think, actually, the, before even I, I, I talk about that, I just want to say that uh, when it comes to business, one of the biggest problems, right, that uh, people have is that they um, they just want to start a business, right? Without first, uh, if somebody comes and offers you a business, for example, it says, "I've got a business here for selling shoes," right? You go ahead, and you want yeah. to do it, okay? But the, the best thing you need to do, what, what you need to understand is, first of all, think about yourself. Am I able yeah. to sell shoes, right? If you mm -hmm. know that you're not able to sell shoes, don't do that business, okay? But if you know when it comes, something like that will be an easy thing for you to do, then do it, okay? So you go to question yourself first, am I able to do this before you do it, right? Once you realize you're able mm -hmm. to do it, then do it, Okay. And right. the, other thing, the other thing that I think a lot of people uh, waste a lot of time in is just deciding. They spend so much time just on thinking instead of doing the thing. So the best thing is do the thing. Right, right. Yeah. So, so do something that you think you have the capability to do. Yes. And also... Don't waste your time thinking about doing it. Yes. Just go ahead and do it. But then Just you touched ahead. on you touched on researching. Uh and you said that 
people waste time researching. But mm. a lot of time, I, I I believe like when you go to other people, you say, oh yeah, you need to do a research. You need to do a lot of research, find out how things are, you know, so that you know what you are getting into. And this is what you will hear a lot from people saying like research is very important. But you you kind of um, I don't know like yeah I, yeah. The the thing is one thing that I've discovered with uh, with uh, people who spend a lot of time researching is they end up doing yeah. nothing, right? Uh, but if you go out there, the thing is with uh, when it comes to to business, the, the most important thing is experience. Yeah. Right, and you don't you don't get mm -hmm. any experience without doing, right? So if you spend a lot mm -hmm. of time. Uh, what I think is the most important thing is the statement that I've just said. Now, once you realize it's something that you can do, for example, if I know that I am good at selling, when I find something yeah. that is being sold, it's easy for me to say, yeah, I can do this. Because I've, I've okay. sold before. Right? Yeah, yeah. And if you do it that way, then it's much, much easier to, 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 to implement. But if you're going to sit mm -hmm. down and try and research, uh, most of the time, people who research don't go anywhere. They end there where they've, they've, they've just started the journey. So right. in a way, it wastes so, your time. Yeah, it does waste your time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I hope that's, I mean, that's, that's clear. My, yeah. Yeah, so um, with business, it doesn't come easy. There's upside down and all of this stuff. So yeah. as a startup, how do you avoid those pitfalls that other people encounter just so that you can go smoothly at least and not 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 ex experience all these pitfalls basically okay that, that's that's a very that's a very good question right um yeah. <clears throat> A, a lot of people, right, the, the, the concept that uh, a lot of people have out there is that uh, I want to start a business and I want this business that I want to start, mm -hmm. I don't want to fall, I don't want to fail. I just want to go and then everything just flies, right? And the truth yeah. of the matter is there's, the, the, that thing doesn't exist, okay? There's no, yeah. a lot of people actually, uh, over the years, I've discovered that a lot of people think that uh, business is a lot of magic, right? They don't. Mm. They will not tell you plainly in the, in the, in the, when you talk to them like this. But when they, when you look at them, they expected magic, right? For example, you somebody says, "Okay, I'm going to start a business of. I just want to think of selling oil. Maybe they want to sell some oil, right? They go." Right. Uh, maybe the, maybe suddenly this oil that's discovered under their mother's um, in in their mother's uh, farm or something, right? Mm -hmm. They go there, yeah, yeah. just want to start to sell the oil, and they discover that there's so many challenges, and then they say that thing doesn't work, right? Mm. It's because yeah. they came with wrong, wrong mentality. Here's the here's yeah. the, here's the best here here's what I think is the best mentality for a business person, right? Uh, whenever you go into into any business, right, you must expect mm. two things. That number one, it might all just go very well. Number two, that you 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 might fail. When I say fail, you might, or let me say the business might fail you, because really as a person you never really fail, but things fail you. Right. It's a, it's a very good mindset. So you go there. Mm. You're going this, this thing, you know that something might not go right. And always, always, when you go into anything, right, remember mm -hmm. to, first of all, uh, learn not to blame anything or anybody but just yourself. You know, one thing I, I discovered uh, earlier on in, in my business life is that uh, I, I never blame anybody for, for anything that I try to do and it doesn't work, right? I blame myself because yeah. when you blame yourself, what happens is you get answers, right? A lot of people, they, they have this mentality that if something doesn't work, it's my mother's fault, my, my, my dad's fault, it's my friend's fault, it's my wife's fault, it's my children's fault, it's my manager's fault, it's anybody's fault, right? But once you say mm. it's my fault, I think 
what mistake did I make there? Then you see all the answers, right? Like right now, if I'm talking to you right now, and 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 you say, okay, let's say, yeah, to, it's a, I like what happened today. Actually, it's, it's a very good experience, right? When we mm. tried to connect on Facebook, we had problems, right? Yeah. So imagine yeah. if you started this, you pay me me. That's my phone. <laughs> then there would have been no solution you understand but if you blame if you say oh, no i think what did i do wrong right you get all the answers your, your brain even works right but once you start blaming somebody else your brain never do, it doesn't work because it's switched off everything is somebody else's problem so you always mm. when, you, when you go into 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 business when you, when, when something doesn't work always think about what did i do wrong So so the most important thing then uh in in any failure of any kind or in any yeah. uh something that doesn't go doesn't go right right is mm-hmm. to look back and say what did i do wrong what could i do right better very yeah. very important so it's those lessons uh, when it comes to one of the, the things that i learned in business is that um is those lessons that you experience over time that will help yes. you in the future Yeah, I the see. experiences yeah. of trying to do something and it never worked, that will help you in the future. I'll give you a typical example, right? Mm-hmm. If my first time I started business was in when I was in high school. So mm-hmm. what happened was my uncle, uh, my um, we, my uncle had a a, a, um, a garden, right? The way he was planting some vegetables, right? And yeah. he. Obviously I got involved there because I was just uh, in high school right and uh mm-hmm. I was the one that was supposed to be selling these vegetables so I would take the village vegetables to the uh to the village center and literally go from house to house and sell these vegetables and I remember this particular day where I, I found two women right uh they were standing you know like in Africa people spend time outside because it's it's a warm weather So they were busy talking to each other and when they saw me they waved me in to come in uh and then when mm-hmm. I came in they continued talking as if they didn't see me so I couldn't move away because I was expecting that maybe they would buy uh one of uh, the, the vegetables right so I mm-hmm. waited for a long long time until I was really embarrassed right and all of a sudden one of them says oh by the way what do you want instead of asking me or say oh sorry we forgot about you they say what do you want I said I'm selling vegetables. I said no no we are not interested. And imagine all the time the time that I spent just waiting for that sale to go through, right? It was very very disappointing. But yeah, I could be have looked, I could have looked there's two ways of looking at that. Say this thing does not work and throw away the vegetables and you, you go and tell I uh, go and tell my uncle that it doesn't work. Or another thing yeah. is wait, well, let me try the next next person. Mm-hmm. Right? which is what I did. I tried the next person and I sold a lot of those vegetables that day. Mm-hmm. So this is this is part um <clears throat> rejection and uh what I would call failure in quotes does not mean that you yeah. failed. Yeah. Yeah. The the thing that will make you succeed is 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 to f- fall forward, right? When you fall, mm-hmm. you know you can fall yeah. there's two ways you can fall. You can fall backwards where you yeah. completely lie down and you are finished. Or you can fall yeah. forward where you when you are just about to fall, you hold you hold the ground with your hands and you stand up again and continue. That's how to do wow. business. I like that. Yeah. It's very encouraging as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like um I, I don't know I don't know if, I don't know if I answered that question. I don't know if I answered that question properly because Yeah, you know, because you you, 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 you a, people, a, how to avoid asking, pitfalls. Yeah, to avoid pitfalls, I would say don't avoid them. So basically that's what I'm saying. Don't avoid them. Instead learn from them. Because the day you decide to avoid pitfalls, you will never do it. Right. Okay? I see. I remember yeah. Remember recently uh one person asked me and said you know I've been trying to do 
some business and every time I fail and I don't want to try it again. I said, look, the day you stop, the day you stop trying, the day of, that's the day of your, your, your vision is finished about business, right? Yes. You don't quit mm -hmm. because, I could quit because I think maybe my, let's talk the example of my uncle, right? I could quit and say, maybe my uncle was not helping me enough. He never went there to go and sell with me. I was just alone. I can make all these kind of mm -hmm. excuses, right? But I, I can yeah. also say, what a, go, a good opportunity, right? Yes. At least yeah. I started young. Yeah. But today, when I look back, every time I tell this story, I tell this story mm -hmm. everywhere, right? Because for me, yeah. it's, 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 it's a big time story. And I was in high school, mm. my first experience. Yeah. And that feeling of rejection that I felt that day, even today, I mm -hmm. still go through it. I go through, I try to sell some, something, somebody refuses. <coughs> By the way, it doesn't matter what, what kind of a thing, product you've got, right? You yeah. might be selling a, a Rolls Royce, right? Or a Mercedes yeah. Benz. There'll, there'll be thousands of people who don't want it. Thousands upon thousands. It might be a limousine. Mm. Thousands upon thousands won't want it. But there'll be only one person who'll say, no, I need that thing. And that's all you want. The one person. So yeah. persistence. Yeah, persistence in business. And when it comes to business, business, you, actually, the most important thing in business actually is uh, is selling. Okay. Yeah. If you mm -hmm. can sell, then you can do business. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and and yeah. how do you how do you learn how to sell? Just go somewhere and sell something. Look for a job where they sell things. Sell them. Sales business is about selling, okay. And mm -hmm. again, if you look mm -hmm. at, at human being naturally, to me, when I look at it, everyone is a salesperson in the world, right? And I can prove mm -hmm. why, mm -hmm. right? If yeah. you look, for example, you see two people, a, 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 a husband and wife, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why they married each other is because both of them are very good salesperson. Right? How? Oh. You think about it. The man was good enough to be sold to the woman, and the woman was good enough to be sold to the man. <laughs> right? We are all sales people. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. I think that's a very good example, actually, of selling. Very good example. Right? And so you it, sold it, yourself to life. Yeah. Sorry? You said you sold yourself in life. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You, 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 you not, not really, you, you didn't sell yourself for life. But what I mean is, um, something, something in you made you to be yeah. attracted to the other person. You understand? Yes, yes, yeah. And, and yeah. that something that attracted that person is actually you mm -hmm. selling yourself. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Any other, yeah. Any other question? I like that because I, I don't want to dwell on that. I still have more to touch on it, but I just want to move on because of time. Okay. okay. So, um, in terms of um, guidance, I think sometimes it helps um, a lot when you have someone to guide you on the way absolutely so absolutely. yeah yeah <clears throat> because here you are starting something it's just like going to a new country you don't know where you, you don't know where the shops are or the school is or, you know you need someone to sort of like guide you so how do you find good mentor or how do you approach a mentor you know basically to secure you know a mentor that can guide you on your journey to get your starting your own business yeah i think it's um, a yeah. now what when when it comes to mentors right uh, mentors are very important or, or coaches right very very important people um 
what I would suggest, what I would suggest though, is mm. if you are if somebody's out there who wants to start business, I would rather them not wait. They have to master only one skill, and that's the skill mm -hmm. of selling. Okay. Right. The first thing you go to, the first thing you go to do is if you want to do business, you may have to master the skill of selling. Right. Yes. And the best way to mm -hmm. start it off for anybody in any part of the world, right, is yeah. to go out there and look for places where people are selling jobs, where people are selling, right. And I would also mm -hmm. suggest if that thing is really a burning thing in you, I suggest you even uh, do volunteer work just to sell. Okay. Because mm -hmm. when you do that, when you go there and you see yourself selling. Then you begin to realize you've got skills to sell, right? And you, you need to build your confidence. That's the first thing that I want you to do. That's the first coaches that I want you to have. Because obviously they're going to, uh, when you go to a, to a place where they're selling something, they're going to train you on how to sell, right? Mm -hmm. It could be selling through the phone. It could be just selling through talking to people, right? But doing it their own way. Let's say, let's say you go to Apple right now. You go, you go look for a job in Apple, right? to sell phones yeah. for, for Apple, right? So what they'll do, they'll train yeah. you and teach you how to sell their phones, right? Although that skill set will, will be specifically for selling phones, but in it, yeah. you'll find something that you can use elsewhere. It's a skill, that's, yeah. Yeah, it's a skill. That's, yeah, that's a free, that's free coaching. That's how you can get free coaching, okay? Because you're getting paid for the job, right? But also they're coaching yeah. you for, for your own self, right? That's the one that I would advise, number one, for people to do. Number two is that if mm -hmm. you, um, let's say you, you maybe you've done all this, you've, you've done jobs, you've started, done a lot of selling, but you want somebody to coach you, maybe in a specific area, let's say you want to know how to sell houses, okay? Then yeah. that's, when you, that's when you will need a coach who will coach you in real estate, Okay. And are available mm -hmm. everywhere in the world, right? You just have to go on the internet, look for real estate, what agents or real estate something. You get something real estate, right? You go to them, but right. this these ones you pay, you pay for that service, okay? So mm -hmm. you pay for that service. So uh, and you go there, you pay, and this person trains you, and you become what what you want to be, right? Right. So initially, mm -hmm. get trained, get trained through selling of some kind either it's, yeah. it's, it's through volunteer work or through jobs of some kind where you are selling or yeah. uh you you, you get coaching by doing... oh she's there yes welcome she's welcome darling <laughs> yes she's arrived <laughs> she's very good at yeah. selling she sold herself to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <okay. laughs> She's a good saleswoman. Very good saleswoman. Yeah. Mm. Sorry? Um, I don't know whether you can see the <laughs> uh, the comments, but we are getting some comments here, and someone, uh, Cristiani Grant is saying that research. You know, she said that I'm sure that you need to research about the demands. So she thinks research is very fundamental. Uh, whereas earlier about on, demand, you, demands of what? Um, demands of your um demands of your business, I guess. Uh, is that what you mean? You can reiterate the 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 comment again, just so it's clear. But she said she's sure that because I think. Because the fact that you said research is not that, that don't spend so much time on research, just go ahead and do it. <clears throat> but she's saying that it's important you do the research first. Yeah, no, listen, the thing is, I'm not saying the, I'm not saying people should not research. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if somebody is new out there, has never done business, okay? And mm -hmm. let's say they want to do, uh, they want to sell, let me go back and say you want to sell houses. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they go on the internet and they start uh, researching on how houses are sold, how much you can sell them for, 
and all that thing, right? It will take forever. But mm-hmm. if if you ask me, right, and I want to I want to go and sell houses, okay? Mm-hmm. What I'll do the first thing that I'll do is I'll go on the internet and look for real estate uh, organizations, okay? Yeah. And then I go mm-hmm. there and and I go and see those guys and I say, guys, uh, I just I'm interested in real estate and I just want to know. Do you know where the meetings normally take place for real estate? Take place for real estate, right? And then I'll go for that meeting, and in the meeting I'll be sitting down, and I don't have money with me. Let's say I don't have money. I'm just giving you an example, yeah. right? I don't have a penny with me, so I go there, I go to the meeting, and I listen and I listen and I listen. And let's say, because now I, I have I have knowledge about real estate, okay? Let's say I'm there now, and I hear them talking about. Uh, that you can you can do lease lease means uh you get somebody's property right mm-hmm. and basically, mm-hmm. basically you rent it out for them or you rent it out for them right or mm-hmm. or you can find some people say they can say okay what do you, you you can you can look for houses that are being sold yeah. right and when you find yeah. a good one you offer it to a guy who is actually doing the business and they pay you something out of it so by doing that i'm actually in the business and i skipped all the research yeah. you understand what i'm saying i did no research I but i skipped everything but i'm already in the business mm-hmm. so while i'm doing all that i'm actually learning right right you understand right. what i'm saying right, right. Mm-hmm. but if mm-hmm. i was going to sit down and and do yeah. a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of research but we probably yeah. in 2 years time I'll be starting to do the business. <laughs> you understand? So that 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 yes. thing that thing that thing I don't I don't like it. I don't want it. So for me it doesn't matter what it is. If it's for example, let's say I want to I want to invest into oil. All I yes. do is I go and look for people who are already in oil. Mm-hmm. And I say, okay, guys, I'm interested in doing oil. Yeah, and in, yeah. in 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 investing in oil, and yeah. uh, I just want to, first of all I want to meet him. Yeah. And the reason the reason why I I I go I want meetings is because I want to fill people's hearts. There's mm. there's something about you see when I'm right now when I'm with you right, I I, I want to fill mm-hmm. your heart. I want to feel what you are thinking right, whether you're genuine mm-hmm. or not mm-hmm. genuine right. If you are genuine, mm-hmm. let's say I'm sitting in a meeting like this, I can always tell the guys that know what they are doing and the guys that don't know what they are doing. So the guy right. that knows okay. what he's doing is the one that I'm going to ask questions and say, "Can you help me in this?" Right? And they probably will refer right. me to until I find the right person I want. So, so in that way, I skip all the rubbish all the way. It, oh, I I like that. I agree with you. So in a way, you're saying that jump. on the boat with people that already know what they're doing and yes. learn from them as opposed yeah, to you, learn... you know like It, starting uh, things on your own doing your research because that's what waste your time in a way yeah a lot no the thing is it's been proven so it has been proven that people yeah. who spend yeah. a lot of time researching never do anything <laughs> oh my god procrastination they yeah they just don't do mm. they just do nothing Right, it's rare. You can get one or two people doing something, right? But it's rare for them to do anything, right? But yeah. you rather, I would rather go. You see, let's say I wanted to learn about real estate, right? I will go inside yeah. and start and start selling these houses, okay? Mm-hmm. And while I'm mm-hmm. selling these houses, then I'm researching more. I'm reading yeah. more. Yeah. I'm asking more yeah, questions. Yeah. I'm getting the right books because they will give me the right books, right? But yeah. I'm in the business already. I'm a real estate. agent already i'm doing something about real estate already right <coughs> it's just the approach yeah, that i yeah. think it works better right and you work better when you experience think, uh, yeah yeah yes. you, work, you 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 work better when you it's, it's like it's like this you see when it comes to education right let me just talk about mm-hmm. this because uh when it comes to let's say the kind of education that we have right now uh, all mm-hmm. over the world right I think my my battery is going to is is low now. Just give me one second, okay? okay? No problem. I'll try and charge it at the same time. Yeah. How come I'm I'm still speaking there?
<laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Welcome, Alfred. Good to see you. Oh, well, somebody's saying billionaire in the making. Yes, we are the next millionaires. We are the next yes. billionaires. Okay, I might, have, I might have to hold this thing, yeah? But it's charging yeah. now. Right, okay, now. Yeah. This thing is playing up. Yeah. Okay. There, there's a bit of echo, but let's continue anyway. So now, yes, what was I talking about again? Um, basically learning from the big guys, them that already know. Yeah. So what, what I was saying is, when, when you work with people that are already in the business and you are researching at the same time, you will learn better. And the other thing I was, yeah, what I was just about to talk about was, was this, the, the school system, right? That uh, what will, you see, the way we learn in school is not the kind of, it's not my way of learning. You understand? I actually believe yeah. that if, if the, the education system could change a little bit, for example, yeah. if if I'm an engineer, mm -hmm. right, I would I would love to be allowed to uh, to go and practice at the same time as learning, right? For example, let, let's say my my field is fixing computers, right? I expect right, what the phase if the if the kids were let's say they they start high school and mm -hmm. a certain period of time they go and work with the computers and try to fix them and a certain period of time yeah. they go and do the theory i think they'll become better students right because they're actually doing the right. experience they know what they're doing right yeah, and yeah, i think yeah. that's that's yeah. where the education system fails us you go through a system oh. you are learning you are learning to be an engineer but let's say by the time you finish that degree you don't know nothing about engineering hmm. you understand what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, 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 I I believe in experience. Experience is better than everything else. Yeah. And working with people that already know what's happening, I think it's it's a form of um, it's an easy way to have someone that to to mentor you or guide you, because yeah. they already know. Uh, uh, absolutely. But also, I would yeah. I would warn and say and say um. You don't have necessarily to wait for them if you want to do it. Yeah. You understand? Just, just yeah. start somewhere. Start somewhere. It's important to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really enjoy, I like that point. I like that point. Um, yeah, work with people that already know uh, what's going on. So um, my last question is going to be this one. There are some times when you want to do something new, mm -hmm. such as starting your own business, or basically mm -hmm. anything new. I don't want to just relate it to business, but it could just mm -hmm. be anything else. You want to be, you want to pursue something that you've never done before. Mm -hmm. You want to be an artist, for example. You want to sing, or you want mm -hmm. to be a rapper, or you want to be a business, but you want to start your own business, or you want to be, you know, some sort of a professional or a public speaker, all this stuff. Mm. But this is something that you've never done before. Mm. So, of course, you're going to face a lot of, um, this, uh, not discouragement, but setbacks, right? Mm. Setbacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those setbacks as well can come in a form of, hi, everyone. Thank you for, for joining us. Glad to see you. Um, hi, Sarah and Chidu. Thank you for joining. So as I say, you will start to experience some setbacks or, and then also discouragement, you know, that can, and obstacles and things like that. So you have that idea you have that ambition you have that passion but believe me obstacles can come on your way a lot of discouragement 
you don't see how like your friends are helping you no support nothing like that it's just seem to be going nowhere so um how overcome all these obstacles how do you overcome all this um discouragement when you want to do something new when you want to to unleash something new unleash a new desire new ambition new um venture basically that you want to do um how do you go about doing that i think i've lost him i've lost him for the time being um i don't know Let, let's 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 wait for also adrian to come back on um thank you guys for those of you joining us we were talking about how to start your own business with my guest adrian who is a business person himself he deals with um um online marketing uh email marketing uh cryptocurrency uh real estate and all of this stuff so I believe he knows what he's talking about uh, and it was great having him we talked we touched on things like um finding mentors we talked on uh you know the the need or for research or not really having the need to do much research but really going ahead and um doing it um so i hope my guest is back on I'll just play a little bit of music until it comes on. Right. Right, I get I get I get you, I get you. So So guys stay with us. We're gonna continue this talk. You will learn how comes on. Right. Yeah, I'm here. Right. Yeah, I get, I get, I get you, I get you. What happened? No, I, I got cut off. Right, okay. So, um, I'm just going to reiterate that. Um, I said earlier on that um, there are sometimes you face some discouragement, obstacles when wanting to do something. And I feel like this, this is what some of the stuff that really makes people not do anything because yeah. the obstacles are there. You know, if you're discouraged, sometimes you, you you know, you end up not doing it. So how do you overcome all these things? How do you overcome it? You know, all the discouragement, the obstacles and all of this, so that you can free yourself and do what you're called to do. Okay. Um <clears throat> I remember some some years ago, uh maybe two years or one year ago, uh <clears throat> we were talking about the same thing in a meeting, a business meeting. And um and I remember one of one of the, the 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 guys they answered that question very nicely. He says mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the main thing that actually makes people not to do anything is because of hesitating or fearing. And the way you you conquer fear is just simple. You look at the thing that is in front of you. You ask yourself. Um, you ask yourself, what are the, what, what, what are the, if you do this thing, what yeah. will you gain from it, right? If you don't do this thing, what will you lose from it, right? And then you decide. If you feel that if I do this thing, it will do me good, then you count one, two, three, you do it, okay? And also, if you feel that this thing might <laughs> help you, you don't do it. Yeah. That's the thing. The thing that's holding people is doing the thing. Yes. You understand? So you, you just um, just get up and do the thing. That's it. Don't, don't think. So it's like skydiving yeah. or yeah. Yeah. just jump. Listen, listen I, I, I um, personally think that um, I would I like people that 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 go into something, right? You know, let's let's because because let me tell you something about 
that I learned uh, from the Bible, right? Yeah. Um, if you look at the life of Jesus, right, one of the mm. people that he really liked so much was a man called Peter, right? Yes. And uh, I personally think that the reason why I liked Peter is because Peter, Peter that doesn't, did not think twice, right? If you tell Peter, mm -hmm. one time Jesus said to Peter that, no, Peter said to Jesus, he saw Jesus walking on water. He says, can I come in? And Jesus yeah. says, come. And Peter literally just jumped into the water. You know, he's, he's walking on water, walking on the sea, right? And Peter yeah. jumps into the sea and tries to walk on the sea, right? And then mm -hmm. he walked for a little bit and then he started falling. Right, and Jesus came and hold his to hold his hand to help him out, and I believe the reason why Jesus liked Peter so much was because he did, he he just count one two three and jump on, and that's a principle one of, of life. Yeah. yeah, yes, that's how to do things. That is the principle that will make you succeed. Right, you 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 see something, and it's an mm -hmm. opportunity. And yeah. you know you can do it, but you have yeah. never done it before. You go inside and you get the experience, right, of going inside. Mm -hmm. Or if, 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 you think, um, uh, if you think, okay, I want to go inside there, but I need someone to hold my hand. You do like I was yeah. saying, go ask around and see the guy that looks mm -hmm. like he knows what he's doing. And then you mm -hmm. go with him. I actually right. prefer people that go in and do something and then and then and then experience problem and come out and say, hey, you know, I went in there and I, I couldn't do mm -hmm. it. Uh but I learned a lot. But, because at least problems. at least you tried. And you yeah. know you've experienced something. Yeah, it's far more, actually the same person who tried, if he goes in the second time, he will do it much better. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's a learning because experience. The, because they are experienced, mm -hmm. yes. It's the same thing right now. Yeah. Where you work, where you work right now. If I, I mm -hmm. take you out of that job now, and keep you out for three months and put you back in, you still do it the same way. You won't have any problems. Yeah. Because you are experienced. But yeah. the first day when you went there, it was scary. Yeah. 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 That's how mm -hmm. it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need the experience. You need. You need. You need. You just go in there and 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 yeah. and do it. Yeah. So even for me, like I remember three years back, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I I didn't I didn't know how to cycle, you know, like ride a bike and all that. So yeah. um, so then we went for this um, a ladies group you know for learning how to cycle just you know so that we're more fit and you know mm. um how to you know cycle and things like that so mm. um i don't know i just like some some ladies were struggling you know like they were really <laughs> so it took them a bit more to learn how to cycle but i feel like yeah. for me it didn't it didn't take that long and and i think because i you know, I wanted to do it, you know, like I, I just, I, I, I kind of like got rid of all the fears of not being able to balance myself and all of that. I'm just like, you know what, you know, get rid of it because we are here to do it. So just like, all right. So the teacher taught me, you just do that, do that, balance, go. And I did it. So that was like three, was it three years ago? So yeah. So I stopped cycling from mm. then. Now, now today, um i still remember hi i still remember how to cycle from three years back because this is experience that i had you know once in my life but i never forgot about it it i still i still mastered the skills and i still practice it to this day so you're right you know once you learn something it stays with you yeah it stays with you and that's that's interesting and then yeah. people say yeah. Yeah. you are Absolutely. you have the talent of riding a bicycle, but really you learned it, 
So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much. Wow. I know you, you said that was the last question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was definitely the last question. Yeah. So grateful to have you. Um, so many people joined us here today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm so grateful to have you. And thank you, too, Pastor Adrian. That was great. You've answered a lot of our questions. Um, I'm really grateful to have you join me. Hopefully, we'll do this again with another topic, you know. Yeah. Um, and I hope that this uh, encouraged someone out there that want to start their own business or, you know, just do their own thing, you know, like if you have your own idea or something that you've always wanted to do, um, feel free, you know, to go ahead and do that. Don't let discouragement, obstacles, procrastination, all of this fear, you know, hold you back from unleashing yourself and being what you're called to do or doing what you believe in your heart that you should be doing. And I hope all of you benefited from this one. So hopefully we'll have another time again here and we'll be talking about other things that will be useful to you too. So, uh, Poseidon, do you have any other last words before we leave? Yeah, just to say that uh, for those of you that are really interested in business, uh, the main thing is just go there and do it, right? Yeah. Um, don't waste any time, right? And uh, one more thing is that um, there's one thing that actually I should have mentioned here when we're talking. I think this will help a lot of people. Um, you know, when it comes to business, the most important thing is uh, profit. And some people call it sanity, okay? Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. uh, if you look throughout, uh, a lot of people don't understand principles of business, right? Like, for example, mm -hmm. If let's say I'm a real estate guy, I actually own a house maybe as big as this one where I am, right? And mm -hmm. I, I am renting it out, right? A lot of people, they think that, you see, when they find me in my house here, they think that uh, my profit or my, pre my profit from this house should be thousands, right? But yeah. truth of the matter is, it might it might have been might be as much as a hundred pounds or even fifty pounds, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of people don't don't answer. I don't understand that principle, right? And what they they find you with a big thing like this, they think this guy has got he has a lot of money or he makes a lot of profit, right? It, that's not the case. So the reason why mm -hmm. I'm saying this is because if you you realize people out of a house like this one, the only money that they really make is 50 pounds, then you will have courage to realize that really, uh, when you want to make business, it's not the amount, yeah. it's not the, 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 the amount of money that you make, it's not that huge, you understand? But it's when you mm -hmm. do several houses that you start to make real money, okay? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, uh, on, on the same topic, a lot of people, what they do is, when, once they have a structure like this, a, a big house like this, and they own it, they are happy just to see the, the, the structure. They don't, they don't ever, they never, never think about the fact that, is it eating out of my pocket or am I eating from this house? Do you understand? So I would rather yeah. prefer that. That's a have, good point. Very good point, property, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you have a, a property like this, if it's making me 50 pounds, it's good because that means it's making some yeah. kind of money for me. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's yeah. making me, if, if, if I'm losing 300 from it, or let's say even 500 or 1,000, it's no use to me. I must get rid of it. Liability. Okay? Because people don't understand that that principle is very, very important in business. Now, this affects all business. It doesn't matter what kind of business you are. You might be selling cars, but at the end of the day, how much are you making from that? How much is your rent? How mm -hmm. much How much are you paying your, your workers? So how much do you have wow. at the end? Yes. Right? So the business is yeah. not making anything for you, <laughs> then you are not doing the right That's way. It normally, it's not because yeah. the business is not right, but it's because you are not doing the right way. For example, you might be renting out a place that is very expensive. You could be renting something mm -hmm. for 
you understand so that's yes. the thing that i find yeah. a lot of people a lot of people i mean I, i've I, i've seen like almost every person i've I, i've met out there who is does not have any financial knowledge owning properties yeah. they own properties but those properties don't are not helping them in any way it's just a parcel it's actually there to take money from their from from them so i think that's the wrong way of doing business and always yeah. you must look at business and say how much am i making out of this if you're not making something at least play around with the figures change the renting place you are renting or change something mm-hmm. to make sure that it's benefiting you mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. i think that's very very important for a lot of business people that is absolutely is 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 the main point absolutely very very important i like the fact yeah. you touched on that as well yeah because business yeah. about um profit you know if you're not if you're not if you know if you're not gaining anything then you're losing then is it as good as not doing it don't do it right if you're owning if, if you're renting a house and the house is not making a penny for you is taking money from you then there's no need for you to rent that house sell it and find a yeah. house which can you can you which can make some money for you when you're renting it out yeah that's the biggest thing that i find yeah, with a lot of people so you find them owning all these properties but nothing they're making nothing out of it yeah 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 wow. uh, yeah that was my last thing then Yes, yes, yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for staying for this and thank you to all my viewers or guests or friends uh today joining yes. us. Uh so grateful to have you guys. Um we're just going to end here. Hopefully we'll have another one. Actually we will. We'll have another one and I hope you will join us as well. Thank you for staying and have a blessed 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 night. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a blessed night too. Bye.